Trafficking is a complex issue that needs complex, comprehensive solutions. If someone really wants to um, participate in this fight against human trafficking, they really need to uh, take the time to learn about it and to understand you know, all the different facets of it. Because without that, I think that um, we're not going to get very far um, in really curbing this, this issue. If we want to do effective anti-trafficking work, the first step needs to be prevention. Rarely do we talk about anyone who's engaged in a trafficking situation where the problems that they faced began that day. Often we're talking about people who faced a range of issues around poverty, around homelessness, around economic and food instability. And so it's important to remember that the best and most effective anti-trafficking work is economic justice work and providing the resources that people are already clamoring for by the time they encounter their first, their second, often their third, their fourth, and their fifth trafficking situation. Prevention might mean uh, looking at supply chains of products and seeing whether there's forced labor, child labor, other forms of trafficking in the creation of any kind of product. There are a few things that have come up over and over again that survivors have identified as things that would have assisted them in leaving or prevented them from being trafficked. First of all, if people had had a way to become documented in this country, that would have gone a long way for them of being less vulnerable to trafficking. Second of all, if people had not been discriminated against for being LGBTQ either in their home country or here in the United States, that would have prevented trafficking in many instances. Another thing is criminalization of prostitution. Uh, many clients felt that because they were doing something illegal, they could not go forward to law enforcement for help and did not feel comfortable seeking help in those situations. Another one is sex education. This is something that a lot of people don't think about, but many of our clients, when surveyed in one of our reports, said that if they had had access to sex ed as a young person, that would have helped them a lot to navigate certain systems and seek help when they needed it. I think so much more of what we need to be focusing on is preventing trafficking and addressing inequalities and really doing some fundamental anti-poverty work to make sure that we don't get to a point where people are facing trafficking. It's not enough to say we've you know, rescued a survivor, we've prosecuted a trafficker, and our work here is done. It's about empowering survivors then and providing resources in order uh, to obtain economic stability, independence, and real dignity.